Hello everybody and thanks for joining me. I'm Corey with Ugly Bug Fly Shop and Crazy Rainbow Fly Fishing and today we're going to tie one of my favorite patterns to use in the dog days of summer, the Chubby Chernobyl. Today we're going to kind of do a little bit of a twist on the Chubby. We're going to tie this on a barbless fire hole number 718 in size 10 um, and we're actually going to tie a tippet ring off the back of it for our dropper. So let's go ahead and get started here. I like to use um, UTC 140 on this pattern just because that 140 seems to lay out flat and nice um, doesn't really cut into the the foam all that much so first thing we're going to do is lay out a nice base of thread come up here and what I've already done is I've already actually tied in my tippet ring here. I'm not sure if you can quite see it, but I've already tied in my tippet ring and this is just 20 pound Dacron mono and I'm using a 2 millimeter or 564 Orvis small tippet ring. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is kind of just get this laid out kind of how I would like it to be. I'm going to just throw a couple of thread wraps in here just like this just to hold it and then I can take this bad boy and I can actually pull it to where I want it to be I kinda want it to lay flat on the hook shank so see you sometimes kinda need to fudge it a little bit and once you get this to where you like it go ahead and tie on up and lock this down perfect there we go love it okay so I'm gonna kinda trim a little bit of this one out of my way here and then I'm actually going to take this one and I'm gonna loop this one back through the eye of the hook come back and all that's gonna do for me is just give me some holding power there with this mono or with this uh, Dacron just something I got a big enough hook gap on this um, fire hole that I can do this perfect there we go alright get some nice thread laid back on here and that's gonna build us up a nice little body for our chubby as well alright look at that perfect And now our dropper can just sit right off of there and it'll be good to go I'm gonna kinda pinch it in here force this tippet ring to kinda kick up a little bit there there it is perfect alright now what we're gonna do as you can see we got my tippet ring kinda kicked out right there I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna use some I guess it's a pink crystal flash and I like to put a pretty good little crystal flash tail on there so cut myself out I don't know it's probably about 10, 12 strands of crystal flash. Let me go ahead and tie in here. Now this is a natural bend hook um, so I don't get too crazy about having everything come straight off the back. I kind of like that natural bend to it. I'm just going to kind of cut this guy off about a quarter inch or a little bit more off the back here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, just like that. Perfect little guy, you even hide that tippet ring a little bit. All right, so the next step for me um, is getting some of this foam cut. So what I'm actually going to do, and I'm gonna use a Pink Lady Ice Dub, um, or Senyos Fusion Dub on this. Um, I really like this Senyos Fusion Dub, really makes it really nice and really nice and bulky and I'm actually going to spin up just a small little noodle of this just to kind of cover this back up just like this get me up to more of the flat side of the hook just like that okay so I'm going to show you guys also how I like to cut my foam for these chubbies something simple and easy gives you nice straight cuts 
So I'm going to go ahead and cut over and show you guys how to do that. Alright guys, so here's what I like to do to cut my foam. I get one of these nice little T-squares, little clear T-squares that you can get. I think I actually got this one from Hobby Lobby. And I actually use just a nice, sharp um, X-Acto knife. And what I do is use that T-square to really keep things nice and even across the entire plane here. And then I usually go a quarter inch. Sometimes you can go a little bit less. It's all kind of preference to you. And then we're just going to come in here and cut a nice piece of this foam. And this foam cuts nice and perfect. Look at that. Nice edges. Looks great. Easy enough. All right, guys. Welcome back. Um, now we got our nice cut piece of foam about a quarter inch thick or so. I'm actually going to take it and make sure the one end is nice and square. I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut an angle right in the back of it. Just like this, okay? Just kind of nice little angle cut in there. I'm going to kind of come in here and get my how far I want to go. You want to cut this further than you think. That way you have room in the front once you get up there to trim it. Once I kind of get it in here where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and lock this foam down. Now when I lock this down, I always do a couple of nice light wraps and then I'll cinch a couple down on there. And also a nice little trick is come in front of your foam here, pull it back and really wrap back on it. And then that's going to help keep that in place and keep that foam from moving around on that hook so much as you get going. Okay, so now what I like to tie in here is my um, my McFlyer on here. I kind of like to get it prepped and ready to go. I like to cut like a nice little piece of McFlyer on. It's my favorite material to use for these wings. Um, and then I just go ahead and take my brush and I just brush this night piece out nice and fluffy. Perfect. There we go. Now that we got that all set, I am going to go ahead and get that sucker tied right in here. So what we're going to do is I just lay it down half. I waste a lot of this McFlyer on. That's just something that I do. Get this in there. Nice few thread wraps. Now what I like to do is come back here, fold it back. You kind of got to work at it sometimes. But you can eventually grab it. Get it, fold it back and tie over there it is tie right over the top of it and what that does is force this backwards just like that and then it also opens up a nice little thread base for you in here for your legs now this won't be a final trim but I'll just come in here and kind of cut it off kind of keep some of that out of my way now next step go ahead and tie in um, our silly legs now the color I'm going kind of with a pink theme here and the color I'm going with with this is cotton candy and the silly legs. Boop. And I just like to kind of pinch those in here. Give it a wrap or two. Right down the center. And you can kind of, once you get these in there, you can kind of grab these guys and force them where you want them to be. Um, and I like to cut these. I like to take one leg, cut it in half and then cut it in half again and kind of get my sizes pretty close that way I'm not fighting it with it being in the way the whole time and then you can kind of come in here and you can kind of move these legs around to where you like them to be just like that perfect next step get some more of your Senyos Fusion Dub and Pink Lady and again this is going to be a pretty nothing crazy just a nice little noodle here Just like that. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and wrap this guy. And as you guys, I'm sure, have noticed, I tie my chubbies a little bit differently than a lot of guys do. I like to tie my chubbies. So a lot of guys will wrap the entire body with dubbing first and then start laying everything down. I don't necessarily like to do that. Um, I like to just go ahead and add my body as I go. 
Um, one thing I really like about this hook, just kind of a side note, is the uh, hook gap that you have on it. Great, nice big hook gap. A lot of times when you run into, especially with tying those bigger bodies on there like a lot of guys do, you start losing a lot of that hook gap. And for fish coming up and eating these things on the surface is as crazy as they do sometimes is, and as is, is excited as you get when you see it, that hook gap really, really helps with hooking up with fish. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and get this noodle on here, kind of pull this back. going to go ahead and start tying this on. I'm going to have to do this a couple of times. Do, 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 do. Just getting some on here. Getting really excited though, it seems like her hopper season is starting to kind of come around here. Um, hopefully it's as good of a hopper season as we had last year on the North Platte. Um, so, spent a lot of time trying to get out it. Even in the evenings, check things out in the evenings, always, always really fun. Try to catch some fish in the evenings on hoppers is a really good time here. Seems like most of our hopper fishing has been um, more productive really throughout the day. Sometime, you know, starting around noon or so. And I like to wrap these really tight. I like to keep this pretty tight so I do a lot of noodles and a lot of wrapping. This probably should do it. There we go. Perfect. All right, same thing here. We're just gonna kind of pull this right on down. And you guys might think that I'm using a little bit pretty thick foam here. I mean, as far as the width, but I like to get maximum flotation out of my stuff here. Maximum flotation. All right, my legs all squared away. Get my McFly on again. Again, like I kind of said earlier, I kind of use a lot to make flyer on. Make sure this is nice and brushed out and fluffy. And I don't go, like a lot of guys put a bunch of this on there. And a lot of guys even use EP fibers. Um, I don't like to use a whole bunch. I, don't, I would rather have it stand up nice and tall than have it be bulky for me. Um, so when I'm, you know, I like, I'll have these standing up pretty tall. And the reason I like that is especially for guiding, um, it really gives me the visibility. Um, I don't need the bulk, I just really need the height and the visibility for me. Um, so right now I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm in a good spot, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this just a little beyond the hook eye. And I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna come in here with my little scissors. I'm gonna just kind of trim off these ends, just like that. Perfect. Things seem kind of coming sweet. I sure like this pink and tan combination. It's one of my favorites. Perfect. You can always kind of give these a little brush, poof them back out. Yeah. All right. So get some more of your cotton candy legs here. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it. Fold it in half, trim it, and then you pretty much have already set your lengths. It won't be obnoxiously long and in your way the whole time. Perfect, there's one, two, this one I need to kind of pull a little bit, there we go. Get it where I want it, there we go, perfect. Yeah. All right, get ourselves another little dubbing noodle here. Nothing crazy, just something nice and thin. Just cover up our thread wraps. Pull this back, get it in front of the eye there. And get my whip finisher tool. and lay a good whip finish in there. Perfect. Look at that. And 
And that, folks, is your chubby. Fantastic, fantastic bug. The reason I really, really like chubbies, I'm going to trim my legs here. Just make sure they're all about the same length, length I want. Is these are extremely reliable for me. Um, always float well. Um, you know, always float super, super well for me, which is super important. You know, the more time I can spend with these on the water and the less time dunking them and um, uh, floating, the better for me. They're in the water longer. Um, so I really enjoy these. And you can get as crazy as you want with these guys. Um, you can add more fly rod, you can make it bushy, you could change so many different colors on this guy. There's just unlimited possibilities with these chubbies. Um, I even like to tie the body with a little strip of foam and kind of strep the, stretch the foam and wrap it around the body instead of uh, this laser yarn um, or fusion dub, sorry. Um, but another great cool little thing is that little tippet ring there. So you got, we got our tippet ring sitting off the back. You can drop something right off of there. Um, makes you feel a little bit better about using barbless hooks as your chubby and not having to worry about your dropper flying off the hook bend. So there it is folks, your chubby Chernobyl. Well thank you so much guys for watching me. I know it's been a while um, since I've made one of these videos. Um, hopefully here in the future I can make some more of them. It just gets pretty busy for us here in the summer. But if you need anything like always just call up the shop. Shoot us an email, like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, um, and you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching.